So some additional winterizing tips that I want to talk about um, involve the plumbing that's underneath your home. Now, if your home is an older home and it's not insulated under the home, then um, sometimes that plumbing can freeze and break. Uh, so if your home is not insulated underneath, it's going to be important that you keep your, the inside of your home at um, an above freezing temperature and that's going to radiate heat down into your crawl space. Another thing that you might want to look at is the foundation vents on your house. Those are the little boxes that have metal grates on them. Um, sometimes you can just close them, they have flaps. Um, other times you can put foam in them and that's going to stop the airflow under your house of cold air moving that could cause your pipes to freeze. Um, another thing you might want to look at if you have an outside crawl space access is how is your door around that? Is it preventing cold air from moving into your crawl space? We want to minimize the amount of cold air in your crawl space to minimize the freezing of pipes underneath. Um, again, if you do have a really cold day or a cold night, you want to leave water running. And if your water, uh, if your plumbing in your house is spread out and there's one bathroom at one end and another bathroom at another end, or maybe your kitchen's off by itself, you may want to leave multiple faucets running to make sure that water's flowing everywhere. Again, you don't have to uh, really have a high volume of water flowing, maybe just one drip every 10 to 30 seconds should be enough to keep your water from freezing. Again, thank you for watching our video put on by Lynn Benton Plumbing and John the Plumber. Uh, feel free to give us a call for all your plumbing needs from water heaters to drain cleaning to winterization. Give us a call at 541-928-6065 or check us out online at lynnbentonplumbing.com. Always remember, when water's a bummer, call John the Plumber.